Yeah, hello guys. Um, what I'm doing is showing you uh, what you can do for your uh, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, because we don't have time, so you have to do it by uh, videotaping your oral presentation and you know submit it online. Okay. Uh, first of all, this is just an example. I don't want you to copy what I'm doing. I want you to make it a lot better than this. So my talk is on, for example, what really makes us happy. This is my qualitative research study. And just a quick introduction. You know that happiness is very important, but we hardly know what it is and what really makes us happy. So I have looked into this and tried to find out some, uh, what do you call, some findings. Yeah, try to uh, come up with some findings which can illuminate our conception of happiness. This is the outline, introduction, the method, findings, discussion, summary, conclusion, and some of the references. Um, the General aim, as I told you, is about happiness, the meaning of happiness, and the factors that really make us happy. Um, so what is happiness and what really makes us happy? These are the two questions. So the method is, is a qualitative investigation. The data were collected from, uh, you know, day study. You know, you, you, you do a bit of online and library research, uh, some interviews, and the use of uh, questionnaire through the use of Metimeter. The data, all of them were collected in September 2019, and then we analyzed the data using content analysis. So the finding would divide into five uh, sections. Uh, sorry, four section. The findings based on the data from the literature, based on the you know previous past research study, based on the Mentimeter, Mentimeter, which is an online survey, <coughs> and the interviews of uh, actually uh, seven stu uh, two students. Yeah, this is the data from the literature. Uh, well, you can look at this, but you don't have to follow me, you know. And then you talk about the data from the literature, and then you quote. One of the poets said that happiness is not about money, it's also about friendship. I can read you a poem by Josh Elliott. Oh, the comfort. The inexpressible comfort of feeling safe with persons, having neither to weigh thoughts or measures, but to pour them out, just at the end, chaff and grain together, knowing that a faithful hand will take and actually sip them, keep what it was keeping, and then with a breath of kindness, blow the rest away. So beautiful, don't you think? And in the literature, happiness, like in religious teachings and from scholar, uh, you know, ancient scholars, you know, worship, worship is actually happiness. If you, you know, you make merits, for example, you will be happy in this life and the next life. This is what people believe anyway. And data from previous study, uh, you can see on the screen here. And finally, libel finding from uh, happiness research, and you can see what to define. Um, but in your presentation, you have to go through all of this. And the data from uh, my online survey, this is the meaning of happiness according to uh, seven students. Can money bring us happiness? According to our survey, four of them, four of seven, like more than half of maybe university students said that, yeah, 
happiness can actually facilitate. Uh, many can actually facilitate happiness. It's not everything, but it's. And also the data from the interviews, asking them to question, what is happiness and what is why is it important for you? So. So I'll stop here, you know, you can do the race, I think. <laughs>